This little-known medication can stop agonizing stomach cramps in 15 minutes. But most IBS patients don't know how to use it properly. Today we reveal 1. How Hyaciamine's Anticholinergic Magic Calms Your Gut 2. The Biggest Mistake People Make With Dosing 3. Why It Works Better For Some IBS Types Than Others Whether You're Newly Diagnosed or a Long-Time Sufferer, This Is Must Know Relief Hyaciamine is an anticholinergic indicated to treat functional gastrointestinal disorders, biliary and renal colic, and acute rhinitis. What is hyaciamine? Hyaciamine is a tropane alkaloid and the levoisomer of atropine. It is commonly extracted from plants in the Solanaceae or nightshade family. Research into the action of hyaciamine in published literature dates back to 1826.6 Hyaciamine is used for a wide variety of treatments and therapeutics due to its antimuscarinic properties. Although hyaciamine is marketed in the United States, it is not FDA approved. What is hyaciamine used for? Stomach and intestine problems, e.g., stomach ulcers, stomach cramps, irritable bowel syndrome. Control spasms in certain conditions, e.g. overactive bladder. Colic in babies. Hyaciamine elixir and drops only. Pain from gallstones or kidney stones. Runny nose. Relief of certain symptoms, e.g. sweating, salivation, muscle rigidity, tremors, of Parkinson's disease. As a drug that is not FDA approved. Hyaciamine has no official indications. Intravenous hysociamine has been used to reduce gastric motility, reduce pancreatic pain and secretions, to facilitate imaging of the gastrointestinal tract, treat anticholinesterase toxicity, treat certain cases of partial heart block, improve visualization of the kidneys, and for symptomatic relief of biliary and renal colic. Intravenous hyaciamine is also used preoperatively to reduce secretions of the mouth and respiratory tract to facilitate intubation. Oral hyaciamine is used to treat functional intestinal disorders, for symptomatic relief of biliary and renal colic, and symptomatic relief of acute rhinitis. Pharmacodynamics. Hyaciamine is not FDA approved, and so it has not official indications. However, it is used as an antimuscarinic agent in a number of treatments and therapies. Hyaciamine has a short duration of action as it may need to be given multiple times per day. Patients should be counseled regarding the risks and signs of anticholinergic toxicity. Mechanism of Action Hyaciamine competitively and non-selectively antagonizes muscarinic receptors in the smooth muscle, cardiac muscle, sinoatrial node atrioventricular node, exocrine nodes, gastrointestinal tract, and respiratory tract. Antagonism of muscarinic M1, M4, and M5 receptors in the central nervous system lead to cognitive impairment. Antagonism of M2 in the sinoatrial and atrioventricular nodes leads to increases in heart rate and atrial contractility. And antagonism of M3 in smooth muscle results in reduced peristalsis, bladder contraction, salivary secretions, gastric secretions, bronchial secretions, sweating, increased bronchodilation, midriasis, and cycloplegia. The following side effects may get better over time as your body gets used to the medication. Let your healthcare provider know immediately if you continue to experience these symptoms or if they worsen over time. Common side effects. Dry mouth. Trouble urinating. Constipation blurry vision, dry eyes, sleepiness, dizziness, headache, flushing, head intolerance, other side effects, fast heart rate, diarrhea, confusion, short-term memory loss, serious side effects. Contact your healthcare provider immediately if you experience any of the following. Severe changes in mood, thoughts, or behavior. Psychosis, agitation, hallucinations, seeing or hearing things that aren't there, confusion, euphoria, irregular heartbeat, fainting, dizziness or lightheadedness, chest discomfort, shortness of breath or fatigue. Pharmacist tips for hyaciamine. You can take hyaciamine with or without food, but if it upsets your stomach, try taking it with food to help.
Hyacyamine can cause dizziness and raise your risk for falls. Let your provider know if you're taking benzodiazepines, anxiety medications or muscle relaxants. These medication can worsen sleepiness and confusion from hyacyamine. If you take antacids, take hyacyamine before meals and the antacid after meals. Hyacyamine can cause your mouth to feel dry because it causes your body to make less saliva. Make sure to drink enough water when you're taking this medication. Hyacyamine can affect your ability to think, focus, and react. Don't drive, operate machinery, or do anything that requires concentration until you know how this medication affects you. Hyacyamine can cause your body to make less sweat. This can cause your body to overheat more easily in hot temperatures and make you more thirsty. Make sure to drink enough water and stay hydrated while taking this medication. Different brands and formulations of this medication may be used in children of different ages. Discuss with your child's healthcare provider about which brand and dosage form is best for your child. Tips on how to take hyacyamine. For the immediate release and extended release tablets. Swallow the tablets whole. Don't crush, chew, or split the tablets. If you're having trouble swallowing the tablets, talk to your provider about switching you to a different formulation of hyacyamine. For the sublingual tablet, take the sublingual tablet by placing the tablet under your tongue and allow it to dissolve. Don't eat, drink, or smoke while it's dissolving. Also, you can swallow your saliva but don't swallow the tablet. For the dissolvable tablet, ODT, make sure your hands are dry before handling the medication. Peel off the foil backing and remove the tablet from the blister card. Don't try to push the tablet through the foil. This can damage the medication. Place the tablet on the tongue to let it dissolve and swallow with saliva. More tips for hyacyamine liquid. The oral drops contain 0.125 mg per milliliter, and the elixir contains 0.125 mg per 5 milliliters. Double check your bottle and the prescribed dose to avoid accidentally taking the wrong amount. Store the medication bottle at room temperature and keep it in the original bottle to protect from light. Make sure to only use a medication dose cup, syringe, or dropper from the pharmacy to measure out your dose. Don't use household spoons because they aren't accurate and might cause you to take the wrong dose. Is hyacyamine a narcotic? No, hyacyamine isn't a narcotic because it's not an opioid pain medication. Hyacyamine is an anticholinergic medication. Remember, you deserve relief from digestive pain. Join our gut health community. One like if you learn something new. Two subscribe for more digestive health breakthroughs. 3. Comment your IBS questions. At HeInfo, we turn complex medicine into simple solutions for better living.